Hi, today I'm going to be doing a little test. Now this is something I've heard of many times in the past and I always wondered if it was true. There is something called the battery drop test and some people claim this is a way to check a battery or to test a battery even if you don't have a battery tester. They say how the test works is that you hold up a battery with the flat end uh, down towards a flat surface. It's very important to have a flat surface. And again, you hold the battery up about two inches from the flat surface, again with the negative flat side facing down. You let go of it. When it hits the hard surface, if it stays standing up, it still has power in it. If the battery immediately bounces and falls over, they claim that it's dead. So, I'm going to put this to the test. I have some batteries here, and some of them I know are dead or close to dead, and I have another battery that I know is brand new because I just took it out of the package. Now, the battery you see here, I just took it out of my clock. I have a clock on my wall, and I know that it's dead because the clock just stopped working. This video is all about testing batteries without a tester, but I do have a tester here just to verify the results. So we'll do the drop test, see what happens, and we'll verify the results with this battery tester. So again, the battery you see here, I know it's dead because again, my clock just stopped working and I took it out of the clock. So let's see what happens. Again, I'm going to hold up the battery. I hold it up about two inches from the flat surface and then I drop it. Well, as you can see, it hit the surface and immediately fell over. Let's try that again, just to see what happens. Okay, so I hold it up and let go. It fell over. Now, let's bring in the tester and see what we get as a result. All right. And you see there on the window, it's definitely showing replace. Off to the left, we have the red zone. So as you can see, the needle is definitely showing in the red zone off to the left that says replace. So that confirms that this battery is in fact dead. Okay, so let's move on and try another battery. Now, this is a very old battery that I found kicking around uh, and the expiry on the battery, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it actually says uh, 2012. So this is definitely a dead battery. This is nine years beyond the expiration date. So let's have a look and see again. I'll hold it up about two inches off the surface and we'll see what happens. Well, that did seem to bounce and fall over. We'll try it again. Yeah, it fell over. And just to verify with the tester, let's see what result we get. So we can see here in the tester, yeah, it's definitely showing that the battery is dead. The needle is far to the left in the replace zone. So we know it seems that the drop test seems to match the results that we see on the tester. Now, I'm going to try a battery that is brand new. Uh, again, I just took this out of the package, so I know that it has a nice full charge in it. So we'll give this a try. Okay, again, I'm holding it up and I'll let go. Well, that one fell over too. I'll do it again. Yep. Doesn't look like it wants to stand up either. Yeah, so let's have a look in the tester. And again, as I mentioned, this one is brand new, so it should be showing a full charge.
and as you can see yeah it's hard over to the right in the good uh, in the good zone showing that it's fully charged I'll try dropping it again one more time just to see what happens Well, that time it finally did stand up, but as you could see, it took a lot of attempts to finally get it to stand up straight and not fall over. They claim this test works, and again, I'm not sure if this is entirely true or if it's bogus, but they claim this test works because they say as a battery gets old and loses its power, the chemistry inside of the battery starts to change. And what happens is it starts to create hydrogen and which expands and basically makes the battery easier to bounce and fall over. Is that true? Well, I don't know. The results of this test aren't conclusive by any means. This was just my little attempt to see what would happen. Uh, so does the battery drop test work? Eh, I don't know. I'm not fully convinced. Uh, if you've tried this test before, let me know how it worked for you or if it does work for you. Uh, please leave a comment in the bottom and let me know if, if, if you use the drop test frequently. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do. We'd love to have you join our family. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.